Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome from Fronius, Austria. Uh, we are very pleased to give you an introduction of our new Fronius Primo Gen 24 Plus inverters. Uh, very pleased uh, to introduce you also Sandro Kuhl. Uh, he's in our in the chat room, uh, so he will be uh, ready to answer your questions. Feel free to send us your questions during this webinar, and uh, we will answer that immediately and also after this presentation. My name is Hans Pelzer. I'm also from the training team. Maybe some of you know me. Um, I've seen the panelists. So that's great to see you here again. Uh, so the presentation will take about 30 minutes. Good, what I would like to show you now is uh, basically first the main features of the product. Uh, I like, I'd like to show you how you can extend uh, the these inverters. So what uh, possibilities do we have here? Uh, also the flexibility in planning, how do we design such a system with Primo Gen 24 Plus inverters, uh, then the installation and commissioning, how this works, and also uh, finally the service, the fast service, what we can offer with this product. But before I start, I would like to ask you a question, uh, and therefore I'd like to uh, get, I would like to get your feedback, please. Uh, what's your experience with Fronius so far? Uh, do you know uh, the existing Primo Simo inverters, or do you know, uh, or have you already designed, installed PV system systems with the Gen 24 Plus inverters? Uh, or last answer, uh, would you like to use the Primo Gen 24 inverters in the future? So, if you don't know the product so far, uh, yes, please click on the. Uh, right answer on the answer you, uh, which is mainly your answer. And I would like to wait another few seconds to get all your feedback. Yes, now we have uh, more than 70%. Um, I guess I can close that now. Thank you. Um, and I would like to show you the feedback. Basically, 70% are would like to use the inverters in the future, so they know probably not too much about Fronius. 20% know the existing Primo Simon inverters, and 7% have already experienced with the new ones, the Gen 24 Plus inverters. Thank you. Great. Then uh, I'd like to continue with my presentation. So the Fronius Gen 24 Plus inverters, uh, you know, the new inverters from Fronius, the Generation 24 Hour Sun inverters, and the Plus in this case stands for the hybrid inverters. So these inverters with the Plus are made for battery connections and are also uh, backup, uh, have the possibility for backup power. Uh, you know, uh, we started last year in September with the SIMO, the three-phase unit, and now we also launch the single-phase unit. The single-phase unit for the green energy future is the reliable basic system. Uh, so this uh, inverter should give you the possibility for the individual energy transition. So basically, you can expand the uh, the inverters in the future. You can uh, add a battery, you can add uh, any other third-party component in the future whenever you like to get more uh, uh, self-consumption and if you would like to improve your system. We also can offer highest lifespan with these inverters, so the inverter is made for 20-year lifetime. And we also have done a, a new uh, way of production. So we are really based on a sustainable production with this product. So we have done that in all processes in the production. I will show you more about that on the next slide. Um, so the expansion possibilities, what can we do? Basically, um, main, uh, basic system consists of the inverter and uh, the Spronius smart meter at the feeding point. 
then you can add a battery whenever you like. The BYD battery uh, can be connected whenever you want. But also beside that, we have this uh, sector integration, uh, which means that we can also integrate heating, cooling systems, heat pumps, for example, air condition, hot water generation, uh, but also mobility solutions. Uh, for example, a wall box to charge your EV, for example, or your e-bike. And of course, all the other loads also will su be supplied, uh, of course, as a main uh, first priority. So basically, whenever the customer gets his EV, he can uh, uh, connect that uh, to the inverter. So the inverter is ready to uh, communicate to these uh, different uh, uh, wall boxes and or different EV chargers and also heat pumps. Yeah, then we have, for the long lifetime, we have our active cooling concept as what we have uh, also on the existing inverters. But basically here we have uh, a fan in the front, in the middle of the front, so we get the air from the front. We have a bigger fan, so it's a very uh, quiet fan in this case, and we can cool down uh, the whole uh, inverter with this system. So we, you know, this we blow out the air through all the channels in the inverter. And therefore we have, we can achieve higher lifespan because of the, uh, uh, we, we, we have no hotspots in the inverter on the power electronic. We start later with the power derating. This is important with high ambient temperatures. And we get, of course, more yield with that as well. So, and the faster amortization. So basically, you know, this system, but has, it has been improved with the Gen24 plus inverters. Uh, what we also have done, we have used the highest standard in sustainability means uh, with sourcing of the components, we source uh, the uh, components if we don't produce them on our own uh, from local manufacturers. Uh, second, in production, we reduce CO2 emissions and energy consumption because we have uh, 80 more than 80% renewable energy uh, uh, where uh, supply, we are supplied with 80, more than 80% renewable energy. All our production facility is supplied. Uh, third point, the usage. Of course, here we think about, of course, long lifespan uh, with this active cooling uh, and uh, a unit which is ready for the future. And last but not least, the end of life, recycling. So first of all, we repair all inverters in our repair center. We don't uh, throw them away. We first try to repair them. And second, uh, also uh, we have, uh, we still we can continue to use the housing components, for example, and also other parts in the inverter to build up new inverters. So this has been done first time ever for an inverter. And we are really proud of that. Uh, uh, because sustainability is more and more important in the, in the future. Yes, then uh, what uh, technical data can be offered with these inverters? Basically, the uh, main difference between PRIMO and SIMO is, of course, the PRIMO is a single-phase inverter for the single-phase markets, and the SIMO is three-phase inverter for the three-phase markets. Power classes are from three to six kilowatt on the Primo. Uh, so it comes with uh, three, 3.6, four, 4.6, five, and six kilowatt. So you can choose your maximum in your country uh, and uh, use the product what is allowed to be uh, fit in into the grid. In some countries we have the six kilowatt limits, in some other countries we have 3.6 kilowatt limits. Uh, with the SIMO, we have the higher power classes from 6 to 10 kilowatt. We have offer, can offer two MPP trackers uh, on those inverters. So the inverters have got two inputs on each MPP tracker, so four inputs. Uh, and we have also additionally one battery input. Uh, here you connect your battery. And 
uh, also for the protection class, we are using IP66 protection class, so ready to be mounted outside, uh, not in direct sunlight, probably because this is, uh, you know, really not the best place. Uh, try to use uh, place under the modules or on the north, on the uh, uh, side of the house where no sunlight is, uh, direct sunlight is uh, available. Um, also, temperature range is very high from uh, the primer from minus 40 to plus 60 degrees, and on the thymol, it's a bit more from minus 25 degrees starting. The inverter, the primer comes in a smaller housing, so the housing is about uh, 47 centimeter wide and 50 centimeter high. Uh, the, the primo, the simo is about 10 centimeters wider and uh, higher. So just for uh, the easy, uh, clear explanation. So we use two different housings, a small one uh, up to the six kilowatt premium primo. And then for uh, the simo inverters, we use a bigger housing. So now, very important, what countries can be offered with start of sales? Basically, we start, uh, the start of sales is calendar week 12. This is in March. Um, so in a few weeks, um, the inverters can already be ordered from the distributors. So we have already got the first orders. Um, and from the start, from calendar week 12, we will be ready uh, in those countries here which listed here, uh, listed here, as you see, as you can see. For example, uh, we have some people in the audience from Czech Republic, from UK. We have people here from Belgium. We have people here from Netherlands, uh, also from Denmark, and uh, uh, also from Lithuania, for example, Hungary, uh, but also Italy and. Uh, Croatia, for example, uh, and other countries as well in uh, South America, as well as Australia, New Zealand, for example. And also the microgrid 50 hertz will be available. So for everybody who is uh, willing to use the inverter in an off-grid system, so with a diesel generator in combination, for example, can use also this inverter here uh, with uh, this uh, Prime inverters. So it's not an off-grid inverter to make sure, but it's an inverter which can uh, uh, more or less support a diesel generator and uh, so more or less use uh, or reduce the uh, fuel cost of a diesel generator. Yeah, so then we continue with the system extensions and basically uh, Efficient energy management, the Fronius energy flow management, needs first of all the Fronius smart meter. In this case, we use the TS 100 amp single phase, uh, which will be mounted on the feeding point. So just below the energy meter, after the energy meter, you will uh, need to connect this smart meter. And we have a communication cable from the smart meter to the inverter. This is a RS485 connection. Uh, so here we have our multibus communication to the smart meter. With that, we do a lot of powerful analysis. We uh, analyze what uh, consumption we have in the house, and then we start, uh, we do our load management. The load management, we understand that we start consumers in the house. So we have four outputs, digital outputs, where we can control household loads, and also we can uh, control uh, we are open uh, interface uh, heat pumps or for example air condition or uh, ev charging units and this gives the maximum self-consumption so but all the energy you're using at the moment when you produce it from sun uh, is always appreciated yes yeah, second the hot water generation. When you would like to use your surplus energy uh, because you get not, uh, you have a low feed-in tariff, then uh, this solution is very much appreciated. Uh, so what all you need to add is the Fronis on pilot, and the Fronis on pilot is a surplus 
uh, uh, the, uh, re regulator, which regulates exactly the surplus energy to a heating rod in the boiler. And with that, you make your hot water during daytime and in the evening when you arrive, you have your hot water. So we use only surplus energy. We don't use any other energy here. And uh, this is an efficient storage solution. So a cheaper solution, a storage solution, let's say, uh, where you store your daily sun energy. Yes, what else can be done? Of course, the battery connection. What we are using is the BYD battery premium HVS and HVM. So we are so far only compatible with those two batteries, but we're working on additional future new batteries. So basically, uh, I'm not allowed to tell you more about that now, but we will come up uh, soon here with more batteries. They are easy to retrofit, so you can also do it later on whenever you like, and with that you increase your self-sufficiency, so you can use also your energy then at nighttime, you store it during daytime, and you, you use the energy at nighttime. For all customers who are not at home during daytime, the perfect solution. And we have a high power charging and discharging power of up to six kilowatts, so it means we can uh, also use uh, uh, charge the battery very quick uh, with six kilowatt, uh, and we can also discharge. And if we have a short time, high peak power, we can also supply this load with higher power. For the battery, a few uh, things to know. Uh, basically, PBD batteries are lithium iron phosphate battery, very safe technology, safest technology, uh, and also long lifetime. Uh, battery is modular, and we can use on the primer inverters the HVS version with two and three modules, or the HVM version with 11, uh, with four to seven modules. So that means uh, for the small ones, you use the HVS uh, battery, and for the big ones, you use the HVM version. It's also retrofitable, so when you have, uh, for example, uh, HVM with four modules, you can later on as well uh, add another battery, and uh, you just add one more module uh, on this battery, for example, at a later stage. And also new, the cascading is also possible now, means that we can have three batteries, up to three batteries in parallel, means that we can achieve a maximum capacity of 58 kilowatt hours with these batteries. If you have uh, three times seven modules of HVM, uh, you can go to a very high capacity, which means, of course, also for some commercial installations may be interesting uh, because of the big capacity of the battery. And uh, be careful, only same number of modules and same uh, module types. So if you have a HVM with uh, five modules, use uh, only uh, three two or three times the five modules or the seven modules, for example. Uh, but don't mix it up, the battery. So that's good news about this topic as well. Yeah, the multi-flow concept. Uh, all of you who know already the Fronius Simo inverters, Simo hybrid inverters, or Gen24 plus inverters know that uh, the multi-flow technology is a technology where we can use uh, the energy uh, at parallel. So we mean we can use the sun energy for our battery to charge the battery, but also to uh, supply the loads. We can also add a existing PV system or wind, wind turbine in this system, and we can also uh, run uh, the energy flow in parallel. So the energy flow can come from different sources at the same time. And this is a very uh, big advantage because with that you achieve highest self-consumption and highest autarky. 
for uh, the safety in case of grid outage, we I can offer the backup power solutions. We have actually uh, the with that the energy energy independency, uh, the uh, solution is integrated as standard, uh, and we can offer uh, the full backup power solution or the PV point solution. So both uh, with two possibilities basically. Uh, what we can offer here. The P point is the one uh, which is already integrated. So here we need only a socket, 230 volt socket, single phase for loads up to three kilowatt. And this socket will be supplied only in a grid outage. So that means the customer can then connect his uh, loads on this uh, socket when, uh, when, they, when, when there is a blackout, for example. So that's a very nice, uh, easy feature. Uh, and as you know, without any costs, so basically uh, very nice to do that. Um, yeah, maximum power, three kilowatt. For a short moment, we can offer 4.7 kilowatts for the starting power, five seconds. And then beside that, we have also the full backup power mode, that means uh, here we can supply the full, the entire household. Uh, of course, single phase. Uh, we have uh, energy independency with that, and uh, it's an automatic switch over. That means uh, the inverter uh, will, uh, when the grid, uh, is, when there is a grid outage, the inverter will stop operating for for about uh, 60 seconds, and then will start again. Uh, will first uh, disconnect the grid, of course, and then start again uh, in off-grid mode. And all the house will be supplied again with uh, your sun energy from the battery, uh, because here a battery is, of course, required. With the PV point, you don't need a battery. But then, of course, it works also only during daytime when there is enough sunlight, uh, then you could also supply your loads. Uh, even without battery. So these solutions, I guess, are also very important and we get more and more inquiries about our backup power solutions. Good. Um, the third-party combination uh, integration is also possible because we have open interfaces. Uh, we can easily integrate uh, home automation systems, we can uh, EV, integrate EV charging stations and heat pump. Uh, these solutions can be offered with the open interfaces. Uh, following interfaces are offered so as a standard. There's a LAN uh, interface, a Wi-Fi interface, uh, Modbus RTU TCP SunSpec protocol. Uh, we have four digital IOs and the, the solar API, the JSON protocol. So whenever you have a heat pump manufacturer who is uh, willing to, to uh, connect uh, the heat pump to the inverter, just ask him if uh, the heat pump can read out uh, these open interface, these uh, protocols, the T Modbus TCP SunSpec protocol or the solar API JSON protocol, and then the heat pump can run according to sun energy or can be supplied with sun energy during daytime. So therefore, uh, it's very helpful and be more, pe more and more people asking for that. Same with the EV charging boxes that can also be integrated whenever the EV charger can, be, uh, can do this. Basically, I would also like to offer here as well Fronius solutions, especially for the EV charging. We are working on a solution and we will uh, come back very soon uh, to you with uh, a solution here as well, a Fronius solution. Good, so then let's talk about the uh, easy and flexible planning with these inverters. Uh, we have a very high flexibility because we have a broad voltage input voltage range from uh, 50, 65 to 530 volts DC, maximum 600 volts DC. Uh, so that means you can connect uh, in a string from three modules to about 14 modules. 
it depends on the type of module, of course, uh, but basically in this range, uh, a string, and uh, then, of course, everything more than this, uh, you need a second string, of course. But uh, be careful here, uh, the 600 volts, because uh, with the Simo we can offer at the 1000 volt range, uh, and on the primer we have this 600 volt DC maximum. The input uh, current can be maximum on this MPP1 22 amps, so that means you can easily uh, connect here two strings of let's say 9 amp modules, uh, so that would, would be below that of course, and uh, on the third, on the second MPP tracker, uh, you can connect another string, for example. But here on that one, please connect only one string because usually uh, you are uh, with two strings, you have more than 12 amps. And the battery input has also got an output of 12, 22 amps, means when you have a battery of, let's say, 300 volts, you will have uh, more than six kilowatt uh, charging and discharging power. But uh, of course, the inverter will then limit to his uh, rating. So when you have a prime of six kilowatt, of course, your maximum will be six kilowatt. Yes, and the 150% oversizing is also possible. That's what we can offer, what we offer anyway on all our inverters. So therefore, uh, that's the uh, same as everywhere. When you have a prime of six kilowatt, you can connect up to nine kilowatt peak on the PV system side. Yes, then about um, the partial shading or shading, uh, we have offered a dynamic peak manager, manager function on those inverters as well. Same as you know, probably from the snap inverters, means that we have uh, integrated shadow management and lower losses uh, with uh, systems with partial shading. Um, so the inverter will uh, control the uh, whole IR curve uh, from every 10 minutes, about every 10 minutes, and find the best, best MPP point even in a shadow situation. So don't worry if you have morning, evening shadows on some of the modules, the inverter will be able to handle this and you don't need optimizers in this case. So that's a important feature to uh, yes, make, make it easier for you as well. For the uh, installation, we have uh, also done a few improvements, very good improvements, I guess. Uh, basically, we have a light wall, weight wall bracket uh, which you mount with four screws on the wall. Uh, you see uh, the inverter then, you hang in the inverter on top and you connect it uh, just uh, by clicking in, by snapping in uh, on the bottom, on the bottom side and the inverter is ready uh, mounted. Then you open uh, the uh, screws. We have now fast access with uh, 180 degrees locking screws. So uh, very quick, uh, very quick you can remove the front panel here and then you connect the cables. And also for the cables, we don't need any special tools, no torque. Uh, we have a spring connection, a Vago clamps here where you just uh, deisolate the cable uh, and connect uh, it in the Baku clamps um, and by lifting this orange uh, part here and that's all you need to do and uh, probably you know these clamps anyway from other installations. But this, this altogether gives a very quick, easy, simple way of installation. When you have done the installation, you then uh, just need to download the Solar Start app from the App Store or Google Play Store, so for Android, Handys or uh, iPhones, and then you start the uh, Solar Start app. Uh, you get a step-by-step -step guidance here. Uh, you choose the product. Uh, you then activate the Wi-Fi access point on the inverter. This is also very simple. You just uh, uh, 
put your finger uh, between the front panel LEDs and then the blue LED will uh, uh, flash and with that you, sh you know that the access point is open and uh, you can connect your smartphone or your laptop to the inverter and then you go through the commissioning process which comes in three steps. First step is the network connection. Second step is the product settings, means here the country setup and uh, all the components uh, which you have connected to the inverter, battery for example, or from its own pilot or the, uh, the smart meter. And then uh, you come to the last point. The last point is the solar web uh, integration. And that's uh, also the part which is which I would recommend you very much. Please uh, continue uh, until uh, the solar web um, uh, integration. So send your data to our portal, and with that you have big advantages, which I would like to explain you here. Basically, first you have a financial success. Uh, you can uh, you have a of opportunity for simple upselling because you know exactly the, the, the load profile of the customer and you can uh, uh, recommend the, the customer the right on pilot or the right battery size uh, with the, our simulation tool in SolarWeb. Uh, so that's a very big, easy tool uh, and you can uh, offer your customer the best solution for his system. A second, also the troubleshooting, the remote troubleshooting, you have the possibility to, to do a performance check of the PV system and you do an analysis uh, of whenever you get any error message from your customer. You can first of all have a look on the system from home and then uh, you find out what to do. You are always up to date. You can uh, also do remote updates. So whenever an update is then needed, for example, because of an, any problem at the customer, uh, you can run that from home. You should just press a button on in SolarWeb and you get your update. Also, you prolong your warranties uh, and you have auto automated service notifications. So whenever there's any problem in the system, you get an email. Uh, and you can then uh, react immediately. And last but not least, uh, you minimize your time and costs because you you are faster, you're more efficient, and uh, also with our technical support, I guess you you will be uh, we can help you whenever you have any problems with the inverter. Yeah, how does the service uh, work then? Basically, we offer the inverters with these components, what you can see on top. So there's the front panels, there is a communication card, there's a power module uh, and some and a fan, for example, which are the main components of this inverter. Uh, whenever you uh, you know the problem, you you can uh, easily and fast exchange the components. They are made, uh, the, the, the exchange process is made very simple. You get also the automatic notifications. So basically whenever you have a problem, uh, you know that you can do the troubleshooting also with our SOS tool. So this is also an app, which I will show next, uh, next slide. Uh, with that, you get your uh, a troubleshooting uh, guide, uh, guidance, what to do when this uh, error code appears. So basically also helps you to go the right, take the right steps for solving the problems. And yeah, we do that with one trip to site. You don't need to go first to check what's going on and then come go back home, order the, the spare part uh, or the replacement inverter. With Fronius, you do that uh, first from home and then you go to the customer with one trip and you find the solution. Uh, it's also easy, uh, accessible uh, and a fast solution for the customer, so he will be happy with that. Now to uh, the Fronius apps. 
so we have this commissioning app I already told you the solar start app so feel free to download that and use that for all your commissionings now from future for the future uh, so it's really a helpful tool you get every information in there whatever needed for the installation whatever needed for the installation we have also a quick guide uh, in the box of the inverter so also this is very helpful for the first installation uh, go through the steps uh, of the quick guide first and then do the commissioning with the start app second uh, app is the solar web app uh, the monitoring app so here you monitor all your inverters uh, from everywhere uh, and you can log in and see what's going on and uh, get all your data uh, whatever is required and last but not least as I told you the solar SOS app the service app this uh, app helps you in troubleshooting so with that you do your service uh, you get your guidance what to do when this error code appears uh, and you can also uh, store all your cases in this app and you can also order uh, replacement components with this app so basically the whole service process will be done with this uh, SOS app good then I'm um, finally last uh, on the last slide the advantages uh, just for summary once again uh, the Fronius Primo Gen 24 Plus is a sus very sustainable product uh, so long lifespan active cooling uh, and sustainable in production and service so we have really uh, had a, a focus on uh, sustainability when we have designed these inverters uh, then the extension possibilities uh, we can you can uh, combine Fronis own pilots for hot water generation you can combine a heat pump you can combine uh, mobility solutions as well of course the battery uh, to uh, whenever the customer likes to uh, increase his outer key for example then the backup power solutions what we offer PV point free of charge uh, integrated as standard or the full backup power solution so the inverter can run supply house even in a grid outage yeah then the easy commissioning I guess it uh, works really very simple in a, in a few minutes uh, the installation is done in a few minutes and also the commissioning works very fine fast uh, process uh, straightforward so this is I think also uh, has been also improved uh, for these inverters and last but not least our Fronius support hotline uh, yes we are really focusing as well here to get uh, good educated people in our hotline uh, to get to give you a good uh, answer a good support whenever you have any questions uh, on site and when we, are, we have any any problems with the installation or the commissioning yes that's it actually from uh, me so basically I would now like to uh, ask Sandro uh, about uh, the questions uh, Sandro did we get any questions can we answer a few of them right now mm, yes thanks a lot Hans for the presentation from my side we can keep it very short and simple today so I only want to point out one question which came up uh, about the battery compatibility so what battery is comp compatible with the primer chain 24 plus uh, on the hvs bvit battery side um, and therefore the smallest configuration i can give you the answer on that is with two modules that means in total around about five kilowatt hours and the largest configuration would be with with the hvs battery with three modules that means 7.7 .7, around about um, kilowatt hours of storage capacity that is possible uh, in general please just check if you plan a storage system with BYD and the gen 24 plus devices in advance the compatibility matrix which you can find on our homepage or, or everywhere also on BYD or EFT systems 
um, support. Yes, that was it from my side, Hans, uh, for the closing. Uh, I hand back to you again. Okay, San thank you, Sandro. Um, yeah, we will uh, send you tomorrow the presentation, also the, the recording, uh, and we will stay now with you another five, 10 minutes. So feel free to send us your questions now. Uh, and we will stay online with you. I would like, just like to switch off our microphone now and give you the chance to uh, continue here with your questions. Thank you very much for your participation. I hope you will be happy with the product. I'm sure you will be happy with the product because it's a real perfect uh, inverter, which uh, is really future-proof. Uh, and fulfills all the, the requirements what we can uh, think about the future. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy your evening. Uh, stay healthy and hope, hope to hear you soon once again at one of our next webinars. Thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>